Hello, this is Almir from AlmirScorner.com. Today's video is about OneNote as the task management tool. There are plenty of tools out there that you can use to do the task management, from Outlook Tasks to Evernote, Google Keep, Jira, Pivotal Tracker, OmniFocus for Apple devices, and a variety of apps you can download on your iPhone, your Windows Phone, or your Android Phone. So let me open here OneNote. So who is this for? I mean, you can use this approach whether you have a few tasks that you're managing per day or whether you have a hundred tasks that you're managing per day. For example, I happen to be the tech lead on my team and the last project that I worked on was 20,000 hours. There were eight engineers working on it, seven web developers, four QA engineers, two database engineers. It was a huge project. To start, the project started off with 300 plus tasks and each one of these tasks had about 5 to five to 10 subtasks so it was just huge to manage so I had to use some type of a system to manage this task and the overall goal is to make it as mechanical as possible so you can actually focus on the technical details of the project and work with your fellow engineers and fellow developers so let me get started here on the left hand side you have I created here a notebook called Almir's Corner that I use for the demos. So this notebook is split into multiple sections. I have a section called, called To Do General. So these are my day-to-day -day tasks that are not related to a specific project. Maybe it's something that I need to provide to my boss. Maybe you know, put together a weekly report or things things like that. And then then I then I have the de project dedicated sections. Project XYZ here is a section that I created specifically for the demos. So that section Project XYZ, uh, if you look on the right hand side, is broken into three sections. So I created a section here called Current. So these are all the tasks that are being worked on right now in this project. Backlog is what's going to be worked on in the near future. And then at the bottom you can see the Inbox section this is the section where as the tasks are coming in I'm talking to somebody or I read an email I just quickly create a task that's specific to this project and ends up in the inbox and at the end of the day I will review all these tasks assign somebody assign it to somebody and put it in the either in the backlog section or in the current section so uh, the next thing you can notice here is that I'm using a specific naming convention when I assign a task to a specific person. I came up with this prefix called AT underscore and then the person's name, that way I can narrow down the search. For example, if I want to search all the tasks that are assigned to John, I would just type AT underscore John and it would show me here all the tasks that are assigned to John. The beautiful feature in OneNote is that if you click the, this link at the bottom or press Alt-O, it generates a separate panel here and in this here this panel here it's gonna highlight all the tasks that are assigned to John the reason why I like this and I use this on a daily basis is because it kinda of gives me the big picture where the tasks belong I can tell here that tasks 2B and 2C are under current section that means that they're being worked on and then these three tasks that are highlighted here are assigned to John and they're under the backlog and then if I scroll down at the bottom, it looks like there's nothing in the inbox that's assigned to John. But that's that's normal because all the tasks that are under inbox are, are not categorized yet and, and they are not assigned to anybody yet. So that's the that's the beautiful search feature that I like to use in OneNote. Another cool feature in OneNote is is the using the it's the sub sub pages feature. So you can here in the current section you can tell that task 2A is being worked on by Kevin but then you have the task 2A, 2B and 2C by just the name you can tell okay these these are organized and 2A, 2B and 2C are kind of the child tasks of the task 2 so if you want to organize that in one node you can just select 2A, 2B and 2C and drag it to the right and they automatically become the child task of task 2 and then you can go here and minimize it if you don't want to look at all the subtasks. So even though it's minimized here, for example, Kevin is the overall owner of the task A. It's assigned to him. You can tell that Kevin owns the part and the, is working on the 2A, but John is working on 2B and 2C. 
I can minimize it and search for John and it's still gonna find tasks that are assigned to John even though they are a subtask or task to A. It basically expands that task into its sub pages or subtask and you can you can see that John so it kind of gives you the nice picture and perspective. Oh, okay, John is working on 2B. Kevin is the overall owner of the task, but here, here are the you know subtasks that you can tell. So let me see what else. Uh, so as the emails are coming in uh, throughout the day, and I'm talking to my fellow engineers, obviously I'm going to keep adding tasks here. So I might go over here and add a task. You know task XYZ and I'm going to provide, put all the details here and I know that it has to be done today so it's uh, right away I'm adding it under the current section and I'm going to assign it to for example to Jane so let me open Outlook over here Outlook 2013 so let's you know the way I manage the emails in Outlook I kind of follow the flavor of getting things done GTD where my inbox is empty by the end of the day but throughout the day I organize all my emails by subject so I can follow all the email threads and reply to all the email threads so let's assume I'm following this email thread and I want to save it as a task before the end of the day so I'm gonna tr and I want to save the whole email thread so I'm gonna select here all the emails or I can use the shift command and select them all at once and go at the top and send it to OneNote and I want to send it to Alvier's Corner and to Project XYZ so they're automatically going to be sent to OneNote as individual pages here but obviously you want to organize it, you don't want to keep this as a separate page or a separate task so the top one I'm going to keep as the parent and the other one are going to be the child so I'm going to select all the child tasks, drag it to the right and they automatically become the child and then I'm going to minimize it here so you can tell it got added. The, the whole reason why I created the inbox section at the bottom is that every time I add a task into this project, it automatically goes into the inbox section. Then I have responsibility at the end of the day to review all these tasks here and assign them to people. So for example, I might as task 5, I already anticipated it's going to be assigned to Kevin and I'm going to put it under category B under the backlog. Task six, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna, you know, John is gonna work on it, and I'm gonna drag it, and maybe it belongs under category A, in the backlog. Task seven, still don't know who I'm gonna assign it to, but that, that's okay because it's in the. I'm gonna put it in the backlog, and I'm gonna move it under category B. And this one, I'm gonna move under category C. So at the end of the day, I got an empty inbox here, and the whole, the overall goal of the emails in the Outlook is that I, as I add them as tasks in the OneNote, I can drag them into inbox red email folder, and empty out my inbox in Outlook. And then I start the next day with a fresh and empty inbox. Let me see here. Uh, going back to OneNote, I have a section called uh, basically the Notebook Almir's Corner. I broke it down into multiple sections. I talked about Project XYZ, but for this project, I also have completed tasks and good to know. So why I cr created Project XYZ completed tasks section is because as the as I'm working here, and for example, task XYZ gets completed by Jane, I'm going to mark it done and I'm going to put the date when it was completed and I'll just simply drag it into completed tasks so I can manage all the if I ever need to look at what got completed I can click here and review all the completed tasks and go back to all the current backlog and the inbox here why I created a section called project XYZ good to know as the project is going on things are flying quickly we're getting things done and sometimes there's 
certain things you want to save for future and put it on the team wiki. So instead of trying to categorize it right at that moment, you can quickly drag items into a good to know section and, and when the project is done you can organize it and put it under the team wiki section where you can organize all the documents in proper, proper categories. That's pretty much how I manage the tasks in OneNote. One of the questions that you may ask is that how do you back up all this? Uh, I work for a company where security is very important, so all my OneNote is saved on the hard drive of my computer. But at the end of the day, I back it up to a network drive that's dedicated for, uh, that's under my name. In case my computer crashes, I can always recover one, my OneNote notes. If you're computer savvy, you can you know write a little command line script that you can double click on at the end of the day and it just copies it to this network drive. Another option is if, if you're allowed to save information in the cloud, you can sync your notebook into the cloud, into Microsoft's OneDrive, and that way you don't have to worry about as if, if you walk over to another compu computer and you have OneNote installed on it, you can open the same notebooks over there and it's going to be synced into onto that computer. So that's pretty much how I manage my tasks in OneNote. Uh, whether you use OneNote 2013 and OneNote 2010, what I described here is pretty much the same. Thank you very much. This is Almir from almirscorner.com.